All right, that's a sad story. Doesn't have to happen. All right, Ashley, it's Wednesday. We're middle of the week. What's the rest of the week going to be? Well, I wish those 60s would continue a little bit longer. Oh, and longer. happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, much like my age, we're somewhere in the upper 30s to low 40s. <laughs> All right, so here's the look There's a range. There's a range. <laughs> so here's our satellite and radar composite, where we are enjoying lots of sunshine. Of course, this time yesterday, we were still dealing with a bit of cloud cover, but we had that nice southwest wind, which allowed temperatures to move into the 50s and 60s. Age-wise, I'm not quite there yet. So you can see that things are nice and dry. We don't anticipate any rain showers as we go through this afternoon. There's a thin strip of clouds moving across Hartford right now with temperatures right around 44 degrees. It is 36 in Torrington. We're at 42 in Willimantic. It's 47 degrees in New Haven. So much cooler than it was at this time. And I really do mean that. We're actually running anywhere between 13 to 19 degrees cooler than where we were at this time yesterday. And then you got to factor in the wind. Winds have turned out of the north and northwest, ranging between 9 to about 14 miles per hour. So when that breeze kicks up, it definitely feels a few degrees colder. So, hey, at least we have the sunshine. There's the silver lining. Our hour by hour showing you nice quiet conditions for the rest of this afternoon. But as we go into this evening, you'll probably notice more clouds start to fill in. Overnight, we'll be dealing with cloudy skies, and a couple of our models have hinted at a little precip moving through. And depending on surface temperatures, that could be in liquid form, and some places it may be in solid form, meaning that we could see a little bit of sleet action mixed in with those raindrops, primarily up in Litchfield County. And I wouldn't rule out that possibility in some of the higher elevations of Hartford, Tallinn, and Wyndham County. But as you can see, the latest run of this computer model not super amped to bring in any rain showers overnight, and it's not even showing much action going into tomorrow. So I think just a few passing showers, the day will be far from a washout. So some of you actually may be okay with just a jacket with a hood instead of dragging the umbrella everywhere. Today at least we'll enjoy the sunshine, of course cooler. Only around 49 degrees at the shoreline, 46 degrees inland. We should be in the 50s for this time of year. Tonight, spotty showers and I, I do mean that again we just saw this particular model really didn't show anything so just a few spotty showers overnight might see those raindrops mixed with some sleep primarily up in Litchfield County so we'll be watching those surface temperatures very closely tomorrow we're looking at cloudy skies with a few passing showers look at that temperature difference 57 at the shoreline but 48 degrees inland so I think we'll see quite a range in temperatures tomorrow afternoon now, Friday, things dry out nicely. It'll turn into a seasonal day with highs in the mid-50s. Looking ahead to the weekend, it looks like we're going to get another weekend that stays perfectly dry. So if you haven't been out there raking the leaves just yet, Saturday and Sunday could be a couple of options for you. The temperatures will come back down into the 40s and low 50s. So it'll be running cooler than average, but at least Saturday is going to be a nice quiet day. Our veterans certainly deserve it, as there will be some parades and ceremonies going on across the state.